The ancient Chinese used to call their land the Middle Kingdom because they felt like they lived at the center of the world. Theirs was a time of technology, innovation, and new ideas. Fast forward a couple of thousand years, and history's repeating itself once again. In 2013, for the first time ever, China invested more in renewable energy than in fossil fuels. The future is clear. There are many investment opportunities in China's growing renewable industry. As the world's leader in green energy, Western business and investors see great upside potential in this rapidly growing sector in China. Technology, innovation, and new ideas are once again redefining our world. And at the forefront of this renaissance is SunTech. SunTech develops, manufactures, and delivers solar energy solutions. Since 2011, they have supplied photovoltaic panels to over a thousand customers across more than 80 countries. As part of Shengfeng International Clean Energy, they are positioned at the center of the green energy world. Suntech was, uh, was founded in 2001, okay, and as a module uh, manufacturer. So, uh, along with the industry growth, so Suntech has grown significantly. It was the largest uh, module uh, makers in 2010 and 2011. So by far, we have shipped uh, 30 million pieces, almost 9 gigawatt modules, which is installed in the field and running and operations. The sun is the most abundant form of energy. It's natural and clean, but harnessing its power still requires leading edge technology. SunTech is more than just a manufacturer of photovoltaic cells. They're taking the industry into new business models with a very bold vision. The whole cost right now, it's, it's kind of pressed because it didn't include in the environmental cost, social cost. Aging now is burning the natural gas, but along with those areas, it's still burning coal. Okay. So that cost, the cost by the coal burning furnace, okay, no one, no one talk, talking about the, the cost, it's just pure, pure the economic. But from my perspective, I think if we include those costs, I think the solar, it's already Okay, lower than this cost. But of course, from the economic perspective, we believe this solar will be uh, reach that level in 2017 and 2018. Okay. The one simple reason the industry and the technology evolution, people are develop the more sustainable storage solutions for the solar. If solar can run in the 24 hours, I think the cost will be half than today. Okay. If you look at today, the cost is really 85 to 95, the Chinese yuan cents, okay? Then I think uh, coal is running at 46 to 47 Chinese yuan cents per kilowatt hour, the cost. So if we can cut by half, it's already there. Then you look at what the goal, about the Chinese goal, as, uh, as of 19th of November, the Chinese, after the APEC meeting, the Chinese government published uh, the, what we call action guide, through 2020. In that guide, the renewable energy will be 15% of the total electricity resources. As the world's leader in green energy, there are many investment opportunities in China's growing renewable industry. Because it's happened to be most developed and population density area in China is along the coast city, yeah. okay, the nuclear need water, okay. And the wind, as I said in the beginning, I think the, the wind land, it's very much exhausted. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's, a, it's a realistic to build a wind farm along the coast area, but it was also very, very, very noisy. Yeah, I think it's solar remain the uh, only option, right. particularly for the distributed generations. Mm -hmm. uh, if you travel along the China, East Coast area, you don't you don't see much distributed generation yet. Mm -hmm. But this is a big plan for next year and also for 2016.
Changing how the world is powered requires a global footprint and a commitment to tapping the best skills and technologies across the globe. As the European, we believe it's still grows, but it grows in a different way, not like the, the large scale which they had before, just build the solar farm. So as the European, they still have the potential to grow in the different way which require new technology and new solutions and the integrated approach. That's, that's, the, that's the Europe. We believe the most promising area is, is the United States and India, South America and also Southeast Asia. Suntech and Shengfeng have a vision for the future of renewables. It's based upon a simple goal. With groundbreaking technology and an innovative business model, SunTech solar energy solutions are redefining the industry. And in the world of green energy, this puts them right in the center of it all. The SunTech story is still unfolding, but it's clear that the future is bright for this Chinese leader in renewable energy.